So right now I have my homemade cookie dip. <coughs> Super healthy. And my, that's vegan. And my vegan chocolate milk. But I only had Bosco mint chocolate syrup. So it tastes weird, but whatever. All right, so y'all want a pee pad life with pee pads video so when i had <laughs> okay when i had a cold <laughs> for like uh four weeks i have super uh sensitive lungs uh lung disease reactive airway disease like right now there's a fire going on like three miles from here a huge one in the portneuf gap and uh well it's three miles across the freeway near another mountain so three miles as there crow flies I don't know it's it's close but not close um, and uh, so like my I'm losing my voice it's so bad it's I'm super sensitive but uh, so I don't know it's just super dry so um, I don't know what I was gonna say there or why I was even saying that but um, you guys want a pee pad video oh yeah so I had this cold and I have this cough, and the cough lingers forever, and if there's anything in the air, it makes it worse and longer, and Salem also unfortunately has super sensitive lungs. He was uh, born uh, as soon as I hit 37 weeks because I was going to stroke out. So um, his lungs were a little underdeveloped, and he had to stay in the NICU for a minute. Uh, but I mean, he's fine, he's great. But I think because of that, he's got sensitive lung issues. And that's why I get so mad when his dad smokes in the car and doesn't cover up the car seat or take it out because he just, it's all over him. And he just, had, he's had a cough most of his life. He, I thought he got rid of it for like three or four weeks, but then it, it just came back the other day. So I'm, it's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, so I'm wearing heavy duty pee pads because one cough and I'm going through the, you know, like the as if you were having a light flow period pads, you know, whatever. And um, gosh, I don't know what's been going on lately, but I've been like going through those like crazy too. So, uh, uh, so I went back to the the light ones instead of these huge honking heavy. I mean, like. You're walking funny because they're so big, but I was coughing so bad and so hard and so often and working so much still that I had to wear them. So I told you guys I'm trying to transition out of wearing pee pads, right? So I got, I went to a passion party. I think they're called, that's what they're called. And uh, I got this, because I've been looking for something to strengthen my uterus, you know, build the muscles like inside, like, like taking my uterus to the gym or whatever. So... I got this thing and uh, there's two different sizes and I didn't want to spend $50 on two so I just bought the I, I'm like I need help now so I went straight for the, the the massive one apparently okay so it's like basically Ben wall balls so you put you put this these systems or whatever kind you choose you put it in your bajanko your vagina and I thought it was gonna be like small enough where you're like oh I gotta keep those in there and I've seen some that are like slim, like longer tampons or whatever. And I didn't really know how wide they are. That's why I wanted to see one personally. But you don't ever get to see one personally. No one ever has these passion parties. They don't have one like, oh, I have one right here. Let me show you. No, they don't. They don't got it like that. And when you're on Amazon, you're like, uh, what? I don't know. So, uh, so I just got it and she delivered it and I tried to wear it but then I started my cycle so that's kind of sucked so then I didn't hit my cycle again for a while and I'm thinking because I had this cold it's like oh my gosh am I late for my next cycle like what's going on but I'm just super irregular after I've had the baby so um I don't know let me just show it to you it is this big <laughs> Like, that, I mean, it's the size of my freaking palm. And, like, I'm holding, like, the ball. 
and it's like as if a set of balls were in my vagina. I've already got balls in my vagina, like don't all women do? They're like up in there. I don't know, maybe I'm just being dumb. Um, and I'm thinking, oh, this is gonna be super easy. It's gonna be like, but if you're, I swear when you put both of them in there, it pushes on your, all your intestines because it's just, if you even have like, like a whiff or like a, like you, I don't even know, like it's pushing on there. So if I had to go to the bathroom, like number two, like it's pushing on there really hard. Like I can feel it if I have gas or anything, or if I didn't even know I had gas, like it creates gas because it's putting all this pressure on the intestines, you know what I mean? And so I'm like, oh, it's kind of uncomfortable. So if you're bloated, I wouldn't wear it, but, uh, and I never bloated, but when I wear this thing, I'm like, oh, oh, am I? I don't know, am I? And uh, so, yeah, it's crazy. And like these things pop out. So, oh, and it goes in like this way. So you can feel, I mean, this thing isn't exactly tiny either. It's not like a tampon string. It's like two spaghetti noodles, like, and it feels weird. And if you sit, it's, I don't know. And then, so you can, you can have like one at a time. Mm, sorry. And they look like weird eyeballs. I don't know. And they have two, there's three balls and they have two different weights, 40, 40 and 30 grams, I think. And they have like a Benoit ball in there that's knocking around. And so like you're walking and sometimes you can feel it. I don't know, man, it's so weird. If I sit the wrong way, if I walk a certain way, like they just, like half of them will pop out. It'll just, so it's like sitting there and you're just like, oh my gosh, and if you cough, the whole thing's coming out. And then sometimes I'll go to the bathroom and I have to like clench super hard to go to the bathroom because it's gonna pop out. And so I don't feel like I pee enough. So I'm going to the bathroom twice as much. <coughs> Maybe I should have got the smaller one first. I don't know, <clears throat> but it's not an easy process. It'll probably take me six months just to get comfortable with it because you hate wearing it so then Oh, I need to wear it. Oh, I hate wearing it. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, whatever. Figuring it out. But I had a story. Oh my gosh, here's my story. So I went to the bathroom one time. My parents' house and I was wearing leggings or something. And um, I was rushing into the bathroom because I was probably doing something and forgot I had to go and then I remembered suddenly. And I go in there, go to the bathroom and I'm like, Five minutes later, I'm like walking out, you know, not five minutes later, I'm walking out, but after walking out for five minutes, I feel on my leg, I'm like, what is that? What's in my leggings? What's going on? And my pee pad had like, I don't know, when I pulled up my pants, the pee pad must have got stuck to my leg or something and like, stay there. It was so awkward. I mean, nobody knew but me, but stupid. Anyway, so. Life with vagina training is very interesting and crazy. Guys, any questions I hope I will see and I will answer them as soon as I see them.